So the plan tonight is, if we can't sleep there, we can't sleep anywhere, we might as well go to City Hall. Okay. Uh, so there's at least a dozen folks are going to go pitch a tent uh, in front of City Hall and see what the city thinks. Cool. The last thing we need to do is put Roy's cart in the back of that truck and then we should be ready. Right. Yeah. That's because it's got the suitcase on it that goes in all directions. Oh. Let us set up a tent city. Let us show you that it'll work. See, there's been vacant lots, buildings that they've been abandoned. Let, let us take over them, rent them, start working on them, rebuild them, fix them. I mean, there's people out here that are homeless, that have skills, carpentry, masonry, electricians, plumbing. They can build it. Yeah. The mayor seems to forget stories I've been told. He was homeless for about a year or two and lived in his own car with his family. Has he forgot what it's been to be human? Right there, kid, along here. Can we do that? This is going to be an issue right here. This is going to be a police issue. Hello. So we can kind of line up over there. You can be on the sidewalk. Stay away from all the stuff. Uh, here, I'll get a moment. Yeah. Because whoever does that crazy stuff is there. All right. Jackpot. <laughs> your right bag. Told you your bag was going to be safe. <laughs> we got more wheelchairs and stuff. I might see two Going where? 
Can we get them in here? Yeah. Or down at the end. Mm -hmm. Or I'm just on that end? The other end. I'm at the other end. I can't leave her by herself. Uh -huh. I gotta be there to protect her, take care of her. Because heck, there's times I have to help her dress, help her bathe. Uh -huh. There's been times she's been down on her back, but she's gone to the bathroom, I've had to help clean her up. Don't put me through this. There's no way I can desert her because she's in a wheelchair. That's what a man's supposed to do. Jennifer? I think so. Chocolate gourmet, all right. Hot chocolate. Oh, yes. No, that's got some steam. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like we're working against each other. How do we work together to figure out a solution? For I mean, this isn't working, and from your perspective, what we're doing isn't working for you guys. So, like, what do we do? Speak up for that. Contact the mayor, contact the yeah. council, and say from a police perspective, yeah. hey, this isn't working. We need to adjust this law so that people can actually survive the winter. Yeah, I mean, I know it's it's uh, it's a misconception that us as cops don't care about people that we're looking down. Yeah, I don't, people I don't, I don't believe that. To include my mother at one point who's homeless, it's not the case at all, man. But I, I also realize that allowing, you know, at times if my mother was homeless today and allowing her to stay outside and live in a homeless situation like she's doing now, that is helping her no better or worse than if I were to walk out here and never see you again and not bother you. How you doing? Not too bad, sir. How's it going? All right. So, uh, Bones, skeleton, on my whole body. Jenner of bones, yes. Okay. Head on there. And something pop. Okay. Well, hold still, cause I don't. I'm okay. What happened? There he is. Hurt? No. Okay. So it's hurt here. The run from the body. All the. Oh, I just don't know if you got it. Uh,